Hi guys, this is Tutor Enoch again, your number one chemistry tutor. I help you understand chemistry better and provide you with study tips to ace your examinations. If this is your first time on this channel, kindly like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. In this video, I'll be telling you how I was able to get a 96 in my UTME chemistry and how you can replicate that or even do better. This video is also for anyone who is preparing for any other chemistry exam, either A level, O level or for anyone preparing for any exam at all, the same principles apply. In case you didn't know, I'm a 200 level medical student of the University of Ibadan. That said, let's get straight into the video. The first step is having a study timetable. Having a study timetable is crucial to helping you pass your exams. This ensures that you major on what is important. For example, let's say I'm weak at chemistry and I study five days a week, Monday to Friday, and do well to solve past questions on Saturday. I will ensure that out of the five days in a week, I study chemistry for at least three or four days. This helps me to focus on my weak areas while I'm also improving and getting better in my strong areas. It's very important that you don't just continue to build your strength on your strong areas, but also pay attention to your weak areas because Take for example, you are writing the UTM examination and you have a 70 in all your subjects, you eventually end up with a 280 or you have a 75 in all your subjects, you end up with a 300 which is a very good score. It would be really bad if you get a 90 in one subject and end up getting a 50 in the other subject. So pay attention to your weak areas also and do well to have a study timetable. The next one is paying attention to what your teachers or tutors teach you in the class. While in class, it's very important that you pay attention and take note of what your teachers or tutors are saying. This is important because after your class and you eventually go home to pick your books to study, it's much easier and much better to understand because you have gotten a concept of what the topic is all about and it will take you less time to understand the topic. So don't miss classes, make sure you attend your chemistry classes and also study outside classes so the next thing is using recommended test books you can decide to use the jam recommended test books or test books recommended by your teachers tutors your friends or people who have done well in the past exams some test books I recommend are Lambert chemistry new school chemistry and understanding chemistry I recommend New School Chemistry because it's easier for me to understand. I recommend Lambda Chemistry because there are lots of questions I can practice there. And for understanding chemistry, a lot of my friends and my students have used it in the past. And the remark that they gave it was that it was a very good textbook. So I believe it's also very good for you too. The next one is solving past questions. The effect of solving past questions cannot be overemphasized. Apart from the fact that past questions can be repeated in the examination hall, solving past questions will also adapt you to the system in which the examiner used to set the questions. And also, I'll advise you that when you are solving past questions, you don't just solve alone, but you also solve with friends, classmates, and colleagues. The last one is joining a brainstorming group. It's quite related to the one I said earlier. Joining a brainstorming group in which all the members of the brainstorming group have the same goal can be very helpful to you getting a good grade in your exam. For instance, let me give you a case study. While I was preparing for my post CTME, I remember very well, I and my friends, different aspirants from different schools who come together, solve past questions, throw questions at each other. We even had a WhatsApp brainstorming group then where we used to have scheduled brainstorming. Yes, it was that serious. I sincerely believe that if you practice these five things, you're on your way to getting a 90 plus or a very, very good grade in your next exam. Thank you for watching this video. If this is your first time on this channel, kindly like, comment and subscribe to this channel. And if you need me to make a video concerning any topic of your choice, kindly let me know in the comment section below. Bye.